Hello people and welcome to the Counterfactual Stories YouTube channel. Today we will also talk about one very interesting topic and that is Hans Niemann and cycling. How these two are linked. Before we start, uh, don't forget to press subscribe button. Uh, since early September, and usually uh, Gentle the world of competitive chess has descended into the acrimony and suspicion. There have been accusations and admissions, uh, admissions of cheating. There have been probably erroneous allegations of vibrating anal beats. There have been vast lawsuits filed. Most news outlets in the world have weighed in, and at the center of it all is Hans Mocke Neiman, a 19-year-old US chess prodigy. Neiman's, mete uh, Neiman's meteoric rise in world chess was capped by an upset victory over five-time ranking world champ Magnus Carlsen, the highest-ranking chess player in history. Carlsen didn't like what he saw, hinting that the thought there was something improper a foot before going a step further and saying it outright. In an impassionate defense, Neiman hit back at the, his critics, confessing to cheating twice in online games aged 12 and 16, calling it the single biggest mistake of my life, and saying that this is the full truth I would like to see if everyone else can actually tell their truth. Soon after, Chess.com released a, a blisteringly spicy report indicating that if the if was likely, Neiman had cheated in more than a hundred games, including prize money events and live stream games, some against the world's top players. Six weeks later, the 19-year-old is now uh, pursuing his truth to the tune of uh, $100 million in damages with a lawsuit against Carlsen, Chess.com and popular chess streamer Hikaru Nakamura. Neiman says he has been defamed and blacklisted from the spot. The other parties believe, in the words of Carlsen, that Neiman has cheated more and more recently than he has publicly admitted. At the core of this whole mess, really, is that concept of truth. Neiman has maintained his version of it, particularly in September 9 interview, where he said, there has been a lot of speculations and there has been a lot of things said and I think I am the only one who knows the truth, he said emphatically. Neiman maintains he's never cheated in over the board games, as opposed to online, and independent uh, adjutors tend to agree, even if there are a whole lot of smoke around the integrity of his results up to 2020. But is Hans Neiman a really reliable narrator? And more to the point, why are we writing about him? The answer before Neiman was a chess prodigy, he was apparently a top cyclist on the national stage. Was he as good as he says he was? Well, that depends on your version of the truth. When Hans Niemann suddenly became a household name this year, he uh, passed results as a chess player were poured over the grandmasters, fans and media trying to work out where he came from uh, and whether he rise was believable. Niemann's accent uh, has been fast and he is still in his teens, but in chess terms he is seen as something of a late bloomer. Where the talent spotted was in Utrecht, the Netherlands, where Nima's family once lived. His parents, one Danish, one Hawaiian, were expats working in the IT industry and their son began chess classes at the age of 8. At the stage, it was just chess that had his attention. According to the Voxtrand newspaper, he also liked to get on his racing bike to participate in competitions. According to Neiman, meanwhile, he was advancing much more rapidly in cycling than in chess. For the duration of his time living and riding in the Netherlands, Neiman sat in the youngest two age categories, holding a license with the Royal Dutch Cycling Union for two years in 2011 and 12. In the Netherlands, from the age of 8, it is possible to compete in races and be as competitive as you wish. Some riders are focused on results from a young age, other need and uh, or uh, take more time. Neiman seems to have fallen into a former category. In 2020 article, he wrote, 
uh, for the US Chess Federation. He said that I have always been a single-minded person. I competed in cycling in the Netherlands and was one of the top cyclists in the nation for my age when I moved back to California. So my competitive spirit was always been that motivate me in everything. One of the top cyclists in the nation is an ambiguous, ambiguous statement and the wording is a bit woolly. It's not clear whether he was at that point referring to his results in the Netherlands or the US upon his return and there is no numerical ranking. Regardless, if it's the Netherlands we are talking about, we have a problem in the words of the Volkstrand. He claimed that he is the, one of the best in his age group in the Netherlands is difficult, difficult to verify. There are no results on the internet that he indicated this. So what do we know about Hans Niemann's cycling in the Netherlands? Well, he rode for the W Head Stadium Club for starters, a club that builds itself as an icy cycling club in the Utrecht and also the sportiest, most beautiful, most versatile and nice cycling association in Domstad. The only result of Nima's that cycling tips could underneath were from the and a read from the 2012 national championship, five laps of a short side, uh, circuit for a total of seven kilometers, whereas Neiman finished a minute back from the winner in a 12 and a half minute race, 25 uh, out of 35 entrants. Soon after he was gone, leaving behind him in Utrecht, a raft of chess tutors who remember him as a very fanatical in his drive, paired with having a very angry streak when he lost an approach to W Head Stadium for information about his time when his cycling club went unanswered. By the end of 2012, the Nemans had left the Netherlands and returning to California, where his cycling continued into the 2013. In most of his races, he was unaffiliated with a club or team, although through June and July of that year, he lost competitive outings. He is listed as riding for W Head Stadium, his old Dutch club, more than a half a year after he left the country. There are clues of young Nemans' technology interest in sport. He was an extremely early adopter of Strava, first lodging a ride in February 2012. But there are much more recent clues of Neiman using his cycling background to build his, uh, to build his mythology. In April 2021, Neiman relayed his uh, life story to Chess Life magazine, a lengthy monologue with a very specific claim, both numerically and geographically at the start of it. Uh, I continue cycling up on my initial return to the States, finding myself ranked third for my age nationally. Neiman says, a weirdly passive sentence construction aside, that said the statement is sharper than what he was saying a year earlier and easier to disprove. So was he the third best cyclist of his age in the US? There is nothing in the result on a US cycling database, database that appears to support that statement. At the Northern California Nevada Cycling Association District Track Championship, he finished fifth uh, of five riders in all six races. In the Valley of the Sun Road race, he finished sixth of eight on the general classification. In 24 races, he started through the 2013 season, Neiman took no wins. Of his eight podium finishes, only two races had more than three riders. USA cycling's rankings are calculated on a rolling basis and constantly in a state of flux, but on twice evidence it's difficult to see Neiman as one of the top ranked riders on his age in uh, his state, uh, let alone the entire country. No national championship appearance, few departures from the bubble of California cycling, no signs of future sighting stars are not meant. So, if we take this, as a proof, uh, everything is possible in this chess situation with Neiman. I hope you like this episode. Don't forget to press subscribe button and see you very soon. Bye.